Einstein was once asked how it felt to be the smartest man alive, and Einstein's reply was, I don't know. You'll have to ask Nikola Tesla. So now I'm going to go over, talk to Nikola Tesla, and see what he has to say. He tells me today's scientists have substituted mathematics for experiments. And they wander off through equation after equation and eventually build a structure which has no relation to reality. I mean, how true could that statement be? Nikola Tesla is the true genius. He says Einstein's relativity work is a magnificent mathematical garb which fascinates, dazzles, and makes people blind to the underlying errors. The theory is like a beggar clothed in purple whom ignorant people take for a king. Its exponents are brilliant men, but they are metaphysicists rather than scientists. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, Tesla, for telling us how much bullshit can be found in Einstein's work. So, if gravity doesn't exist, then what's the force that pulls us down to the earth? Why do things fall down instead of up? And the answer is electromagnetism. The accurate model of the mechanisms governing the functioning of our known universe is that of electromagnetism, not gravity. What is mistaken for and therefore labeled as gravity are in fact, and this has been thoroughly peer-reviewed, magnetic lines of force and the actions of accelerated charged particles moving at various velocities. Additionally, these same electromagnetic forces act in identical fashion, whether one is measuring actions taking place between particles at the quantum level or on a planetary scale. What has been detected by LIGO and other similar experiments preceding it are in fact magnetic lines of force and the movements and actions of accelerated charged particles, such as electrons and protons, among many others. As for black holes, supermassive, twin or otherwise, none have been experimentally reproduced in the laboratory. None have been measured in terms of electromagnetism. None have been moved from the chalkboards of theory to factual and provable constructs nor mechanisms. Many scientists will back me up on this statement. To define what are labeled as black holes, one must look beyond the again theoretical labels of dark matter and dark energy, neither of which have been proven to exist, and yet are considered as constructs of black holes. Looking beyond, one finds plasma, what Tesla labeled the ether, comprising the so-called vacuum of space. This ether is electrically charged plasma. Black holes are a gathering due to magnetic attraction of this electric plasma. This is not gravity, sucking in all matter and light as mainstream scientists describe black holes. Einstein's work, Gravity, was hijacked for profiteering. Tesla's work, The Ether, and Electric Universe, is the real science hidden away and employed at CERN. You might be wondering, why would they hide this from us? Why would they make up gravity to hide the electromagnetic universe? And the answer is free energy. Tesla says electric power is everywhere, present in unlimited quantities, and can drive the world's machinery without the need of coal, oil, gas, or any other of the common fuels. Nikola Tesla knew that we could manipulate the electromagnetic field here on Earth, the thing we call gravity, and we could use it as free energy to produce anything we'd like. But the thing is, the powers don't like that at all. Because remember, they own all of the energy companies. The thing is, we don't need coal, oil, gas, or any of the common fuels. If there's free energy that we can manipulate in our favor in order to obtain free energy, but obviously they won't allow that to happen because we're just stupid little people who need to buy everything like consumers so that they can build their empire off of our labor, hiding free energy from us.